Our algorithm assures us you'll love this binge pipe content. I'm Blake. And I'm Chad. And we're the internet bro. Binge Pipe has a lot of hobbies besides presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, as soon as we get some good content, you'll be glad you're here. Welcome to the game. I'm Cookie Masterson, and a quick warning, if you are pregnant, you technically count as two players. So, divide scores accordingly. Eight players? Well, this is... Either a very fun small get together or a very lame party. All right, let's move. Start the game. Time for question one. To get things rolling, I wouldn't call my home smart exactly. I have a lot of voice-activated gadgets at home, but I mostly like to set up elaborate power struggles between them. What should I say if I want my Amazon Echo to tell my iPhone to do something? Siri, tell Cortana to turn off the lights. Alexa, tell Siri to lower the volume. Cortana, tell Alexa to play music. Or Alexa, tell Google Assistant to do... And how'd we do? Yeah, way to be wrong. <coughs> Correct answer, reveal yourself. Alexa is the virtual assistant for the Amazon Echo, and Siri is the one for the iPhone. And if this question turned one of the devices on in your home, frankly, I'm not sorry about it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Coming up, I don't trust facts, I trust my gut. Hold on. As a trivia host, I should have known that mayonnaise was questionable. My lunch is disagreeing with me, and it's omitting a lot of viable counter-arguments, which means it's using which fallacious persuasion technique? Ad hominem attack, moving the goalposts, card stacking, or fallacy fallacy. So who got it? <laughs> well, it's come to this. Card stacking is making one side look a lot stronger by ignoring the viable arguments of the opposing view. Okay, we've reached a compromise, but you really don't want to know what I gave up to get there. Why do we do it with green? Oh, here's a good one. Black windshield. But don't trust your smartphone because it's a dis or dat. I'm going to list off seven titles, and for each one, you tell me if it's an episode of Black Mirror, you know, the depressing sci-fi anthology show about the internet, or an old driver's education film. Answer quick, you'll only have a few seconds to choose between Black Mirror or Driver's Ed. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Okay, let's do it. Options to live. Well, that was mostly miserable, but you guys, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge Pipe would like to improve your player experience. Oh, that means it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways.
Please, and you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. <coughs> Great, thanks. <laughs> Happy to engage with you. I don't need you anymore. Why not try Polly wanna clap back? Hey, could you help me finish this tweet? Me. Sure, I'm polydactyl, but I don't let that define me. Also me. A pic of me flipping you off with my extra middle... Brace yourself. <laughs> Player 6 just dropped a screw on you guys. Hey, has this question lost some weight? Let's see who got it. You. I know this answer. Also you... Polydactyly is a condition where someone has additional digits on their hands or feet. Thanks for the help. When it comes to social media, I'm so frowny face heart emoji rocket ship. Nicely done with that screw player six. Have some cash. Let's try Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth or Frankenstein. The doctor that is. First encountered in the Antarctic. Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> Player 5 just dropped a screw on you guys. Ever try reading backwards? You're about to. Hope you like what you picked. Could be worse, you know, in theory. <laughs> when we first meet Dr. Frankenstein in the novel, he's lost in the Antarctic searching for his monster. But it turns out the real monster is having to read a book. Nicely screwed, player five. Here's your extra cash. <laughs> Round one is history. How's everyone doing? These players are currently tied for the lead. And on the other end of the spectrum, these players are negatively affecting our averages. Market research indicates that it's time for more screws. Round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using them. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. We're having fun. Six trombones is not a parade. I call this one, love this dumb song or Elsa. Suppose that at a production of Frozen on Broadway, fans could show their love during the curtain call by throwing hard to freeze substances on stage. Which would show the most love? Throwing water at Elsa, throwing blood at Elsa, throwing nitrogen at Elsa. Oh, look out. Ah, player three used that screw. Read carefully. You should have at least tried. You might have even picked this. With a freezing point of minus 272 degrees Celsius, Elsa has her work cut out for her. I'm sure she can handle it. Hell, she made a dress out of ice. Although on Broadway, I'm told it's more of a fun pantsuit. Way more practical for getting around your ice castle. Nicely screwed, player three. Here's that cash. La vie est un canard. How about this one? Y'all ready for this? Look at me go! I'm rolling, yawing, and pitching. What am I? A kitten, a cowboy, a softball player, or an air... Well, well. My friends, player two has unleashed the screw. Hope you're a fast typer.
Okay, what'd you pick? I get it. You see one word that looks familiar and you just take a chance. <coughs> Rolling, pitching, and yawing are aviation terms linked to lateral, vertical, and longitudinal motion. Expert screwing player two. Spend this wisely. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. This one's called Everyone in Hollywood is Connected. And uh oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, head in the game. Check out this gibberish phrase and figure out what everyday expression it rhymes with. Big Kumail Shonda bled. And don't get hung up on that punctuation. You got that right. Exactly right. the steel thing exactly where you're supposed to. So, what was it? <laughs> oh, and player two, I saw what you typed. Totally predictable. It's too bad if you had typed in two different words, you would have seen, well, let's just call it the uh, Infinity War of Easter eggs. Oh well, maybe next time. For now, you'll just have to settle for the one on your device. Okay, on with the game. Na, 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 na. It's time for Disem Vowled. Which of these serial killers was executed by a literal game of hangman in 1896? John Way, N Gase, Un of Am, Jack the Ripper, or Olmes? Let's see how that shook out. You choked. The letter missing is H, and H.H. H. Holmes was hung in 1896 for killing somewhere between 20 and 200 people. I once applied to be an executioner's assistant back when I was desperate for work, but apparently beggars can't be noosers. Take a good look at... Hola, mi nombre es Cookie Masterson. Está celebrando el 5 de mayo, el comienzo de la guerra de la independencia mexicana, la derrota de los franceses en la batalla de Puebla, el final de la revolución mexicana o el nacimiento. Who picked what? El 5 de mayo conmemora la derrota del imperio francés por el ejército mexicano en la batalla de Puebla. Para todos los hispanohablantes, gracias por jugar nuestro juego. Esos tontos hablantes de inglés no pueden entender una palabra de lo que estoy diciendo. ¡Qué montón de idiotas! It's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Letter count. I mean that pretty literally. Get ready to count letters. Good luck.
Player Six takes it. I gotta hand it to you, Player Six. I'm sweating that was so close. Wait, no, it's it's all that pig gristle I had for lunch. Either way. You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm S and I wrote the hangman question about serial killers from this episode and most other serial killer trivia in this game. Also, I'm the author of several serial killer essays for online channels that are blocked at this point. I often read up on serial killers to prepare for trivia writing, dinner conversation, or wedding toast. I cosplay as as villains dissemble me no more tear up the planks here here is the beating of his hideous heart thank you for joining us for this binge pipe bonus content <laughs>